We'll have a go at uh, making this an atmospheric, windswept, rainy lake district scene based on the other two that I've just done. I'll try, I'll try to make them all different. Um, you'll see here I've made up a copyright notice. It says, if you can't see it, video copyright Dave Usher, licensed to Dave Usher painting demonstrations. And then I've got my YouTube channel number here. I'm uh, very disturbed about uh, Paul Taggart getting some of his videos uh, uploaded to a Turkish joy. He thinks it's a Turkish channel. Have a look on it at his, at his uh, video. He's been now restricted by YouTube back to 15 minute videos. I hope that gets resolved because we don't seem to have any protection. So I've been advised by one of my subscriber, subscribers who has a solicitor friend who suggested that this would be a good way of protecting my copyright. Now, I can't do it on the other 450 videos. It would take, it would take uh, another 18 months to edit all that. But, um, well, we'll see. I'm sure some of you would come up with some suggestions that would be uh, appropriate. This is my first attempt at doing anything like this on uh, Open Office. Oh, it's quite good. It's a bit, it looks a bit scrappy because the paper I'm using is very, very thin, cheap printing paper because I don't really print any photographs or anything. It's just for documents. But uh, I hope you can see that. It's a shame that we have to do this. but uh, So in future I'm going to have to put that up. Right, okay. Now I've got, I've got a one of these uh, graphite sticks, so I think we'll just just make up a sort of mountain range. Come to bed. I don't want too much of this uh, reflection showing. We can come up here, down there, and we can have some trees on this different distant bank here, and and maybe I'll lift out the house or building boat shed there and with the beach coming across here some trees some rocks something like that maybe a, a yacht or two it's a pot boiler I know but um, I've been out my bike ride this morning with my pals uh, the Wandle and it's had a lot of money given to it for preservation, conservation, and they're making it narrow in some parts to make it even faster flowing. It's only 16 miles long, it runs into the Thames from Croydon, but uh, it drops about 126 feet over its length, so it's always fast flowing. And I'd love to see uh, some wind, uh, not wind, some water turbines on this river. It's always flowing, we get Quite a bit of rain in in, uh, in England, as you know, Britain, as you know. And it would be nice if we could get some electricity that way. That is very, very environmentally friendly. It's not ugly, um, and it works. So anyway, I was I'm not going to paint the bundle today. I've done it so many times, but I, I paint versions of it. Now I'm going to use this uh, nearly new hake. So. I'll wet the paper, which is Fabriana, 130, 130 pounds. Good, good, good wet. Try to miss my copyright notice. I, I'm going to find a way of covering it with perhaps a bit of cling film or something. Clear plastic. I'll find somebody that can do it properly. What I might do is another, another one but have it across the top in just one line. But it'd have to be smaller than this 24 point print I've used. Right, I'll, uh, it's nice and wet. So have it above rather than below. Uh, then that way, the water won't run down on it, will it? Maybe I should have put it up there and, and drop it. No, I'll leave it as it is for the moment. Right, here, here are my colours. Um, Lemon yellow, dirty lemon yellow, covered in blue and grey. Um, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, 
paint's great and lovely burnt sienna. So we'll put in a, a wash of uh, with the usual with sienna. Get that all over. A little dry lighter when it goes on. But you want a, quite a strong colour. When you put in the sky, you need to put in the water as well. So we'll put a bit of a bit of blue in there, a bit of lizard and crimson with it. Just get a good strong blue. And then oh, let's go and try that. That's a bit of a blow. Right now we'll put in some uh, I'll use burnt burnt umber. Burnt umber, ultramarine, that makes a good cloud grey. Quite a warm, quite a warm mix. A bit more blue in the top there. And then put that in the bit of water there. Well, I'm going to cover that with a bit of bit of landscape and a bit of blue in this in the water, in the lake. That's the blue there, let's just get that reflected in the water. Okay, that, that will do. We could put in a bit of the uh, darker, this cloud in there, even if we paint over it. It's got to go in as a reflection. Okay, that'll do. I'll reclip the paper. I even managed to save this as a document, but it always, because I don't do it very often, it takes me ages to find out where it's gone. But it's amazing technology, isn't it? And this is only Windows. You can't afford Apple. Right, I'll just lift off the bottom of that. There we are. Now we want a good sky colour. A blue. Ultramarine, just get that in. Nice, strong. Uh, let's just put that in. Can't see what it's blue. Let's get that darker. There. Now, you need, you, you need some cloth handy. A bit, a bit of darker blue, a bit of red in the blue there. That's and then we we'll go back to the uh, Right, let's get in some different colours in there. Let's get in some lemon yellow and some more sienna. Got that straight of the horizon. Now we'll put in a bit of darker stuff in there. I want to lift some of this out. So I've got my little Lift the outer. Just 
why that's why I overdo it. Okay, that looks quite okay. Bring that down a bit here. Take advantage of that dark, oh, so that you can scrape out. I'll do a little bit on it, just. That'll do, that'll do. Right now I'm going to put in some really heavy, some heavy greeny blues. I'm going to use burnt sienna. One of the drawbacks about painting using dry paint like this, <clears throat> when you want a really good, rich, dark tube concentrate, you can't get it very easily. You've got to work at the wretched stuff to soften it. I'll use a bit of yellow in there as well. So let's just put in these trees here. They'll give a bit of perspective. Another, another sort of plane. Get some sienna in there. I'll do the reflections at the end when it's dry. Right. <clears throat> I try to avoid using paints grey. It's not very personal, okay, the colour, but there are other ways. Okay, nice and thick here. Because I might want to lift out against that. Got that all the way across there. Well, I can put some uh, tree sort of tree things up here. Just to add a bit of interest in here. Just gives a bit more perspective. I still want to get some darker paint in here. There is a European move, I think it's by the Swedish government or anyway, they're trying they're, they're looking into banning cadmium pigments because of uh, health and safety. They think we eat the stuff. Is it going uphill a little bit? I might well be. Now you can see I, my paint is very, very thick. Or there's, there's not a lot of water on the palette. Let's just uh, get that coming down there a little bit. Right now I'm going to scratch in some. Don't put too many of these in. Just a bit of interest. So now that's drying quite nicely. That's quite a reasonable cloud. So we'll put in some more. Trees, autumn-y colours. It's hard to get this. When that softens that'd be lovely. Oh, let's just. Bigger, bigger stuff here. So I'm almost dry brushing here. Let's bring that across here. Right. <coughs> okay. 
say. Right. Now, if I'm going to lift out, I need to put in some something darker background just to show boat house. I've done this before, so nothing new here. The blue. So I can scrape out against, well I can lift out against that when it's dry. But I need to get that, still needs to be to be straight along there and it, it's just a bit of a bow there, it's just Okay, let's put in some uh, some uh, peach. There are a lot of different colours in here. Nice light, light um, some sienna. I want some nice darks here to match the uh, background. Bit of umber, bit of blue. Oh, I'll use the rigger in that. In my piece. Now I want to lift out some rocks, so red. some grasses I'm coming down there's some grass in the water all right okay now let's scrape out a few rocks Right, that's it. Now yeah, we'll uh, I'll give that a dry now. So take your headphones off. This clean water, but don't scrub. Right now, I'll get in some some sienna. Because that's you've got sienna in the sky there. Of course, sienna that is. Now a bit of blue. Bit of that grey. Now we'll put these uh, hard. Showing that behind there. 
这发。我们铺进什么的 ？Green。现在，啊，还有些 darker notes here. These cliffs in these lovely mountains. It's a bit too dry. That burnt umber is softening nicely now. Going with some darker. Right. Try that there though. Some detail. Will I find my rigger? It's the usual, just trying to put something in the shore. I need plenty of water. Burnt sienna and the uh, blue. Just a few. Runs. All right, let's get some more detail in now. Uh, flicks up and flicks down. It says water. A bit of a shadow in there. Cast. I'll put in a bust up the hake. Then I can put some nice dark bit of, bit of stipple. Oh, 
nice. Some leaves on here. Clean the brush. Um, get the little half inch brush and a bit of tissue. And then we'll put in a No, no detail, just just uh, hint, hint of that. Oh, we'll just take a little bit out there. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Let's take out a yacht. a bit in the reflection. Mm. Right, we won't overdo that. I just want to put some uh, some twigs back in there and I can't find my vigor now. Here somewhere, not in the water. I use quite a big uh, water pot. Oh, it's about. I'll, uh, I'll use this other, this other rigger, the one I used to use before. It got a bit thin in the hair department. And this thickening up a bit there. That'll do, I think. No, I'll put a signature on that. Where should I put a signature? Right there. Don't really show that, does it? It's got a bit darker. Just about shows. A couple of points. Uh, okay, I'll put that in a mount and we'll have a little look, see what we've done. So I'll, go, I'll go and work that on it, see if I can get it into a, <coughs> a single line, but with a slightly smaller print. Uh, let's try this. There's a small amount I've got cut in. Look, got two pictures there. <coughs> but um, I'll put that there. Let's get that over there a little bit. Okay, there we are. <coughs> there we are. Uh, Lake District, from my imagination, of course. 
we've got some detail in here before we get to the, the murkiness of the beyond mountains. Um, that probably needs a little bit more cleaning out, I think so, let's uh, do that. Right, so I'm going to let that go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I'll zoom in and you can have a look, see what I've done. Oops, there's my, my hills. Small mountains, there's the background. I like that. Nice bright mountains, but blue distance. That's uh, more or less under the blue coming across there. Rain over the top here. And the foreground, let's just go in. That's just, I like that. that. I think that's quite effective. It's like being, it's like all that practice I did when I was painting Seven Islands, which I will still do, because it could be Seven Islands with uh, mountains, though they don't exist. Okay, let's zoom out and then you can see. Right, okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.